In today's video, we're about to explore the intricacies of the Vice City Mapping Project, unraveling the mysteries of the latest map iteration. Join us as we meticulously analyze the details and draw insightful comparisons between the expansive GTA 6 map and its predecessors within the series. Our adventure doesn't stop there. We'll be immersing ourselves in the leaked information from 2022, unveiling a treasure trove of open world activities. Brace yourselves for a comprehensive list featuring every nook and cranny on the GTA 6 map, showcasing not only new additions, but also the anticipated return of beloved locations from the iconic GTA Vice City, as hinted in the leaks. Let's kick off this exploration by delving into the heart of the GTA 6 mapping project. For those familiar with it, this official endeavor aims to provide a scale-accurate representation of what players can expect in the actual game. The map sprawls across two major cities, Vice City and Ford Gorn, and every detail is meticulously curated from leaks and the official trailer. Now, for those wondering about the seemingly expansive green spaces on the map, it's important to acknowledge the limitations of our knowledge. The apparent emptiness serves as a stark reminder of the scarcity of information currently available. The top portion of the map, appearing cut off, isn't indicative of boundaries or future expansions, but is rather a canvas awaiting details yet to be unveiled. Addressing rumors about the map's size, speculation abounds that GTA 6 will boast three major cities. While Vice City and Port Gorn are confirmed, the third city remains shrouded in mystery. There's a buzz that it might be Yorktown, potentially located north of Port Gorn. However, specifics about the placement of these locations marked in red are still elusive. Now, let's delve into the exciting prospect of exploring key locations on the GTA 6 map. These names, extracted from the official trailer and leaks, offer a tantalizing glimpse into the rich and diverse world awaiting players. Get ready to traverse the landscapes of Yorktown Red Hill Fairyland Forest, near Berryland, a whimsical Disneyland parody, Ambrosia Lake, Leonida, Lore North, Beaches Belleville, Ica, Vice City, Hamlet, Grass Rivers, and the enigmatic Gator Keys. As our journey unfolds, stay tuned for more updates, insights, and speculations surrounding the continually expanding universe of GTA 6. The road ahead promises thrilling surprises, and we're here to navigate it together. Now, let's delve deeper into the intriguing details surrounding Port Gellhorn. The bustling streets and structures around Hank's Waffles Diner, a focal point for a heist according to the leaks, spark anticipation for dynamic in-game events. The meticulous rendering of these locales not only captures the essence of the city, but also invites players to immerse themselves in the narrative-driven experiences that Rockstar Games is known for. Examining the speculative changes in Port Gellhorn, the notable relocation of the Port Gellhorn airfield suggests a strategic reimagining of the city's layout. This shift, coupled with the adjustment of the Port Gellhorn raceway, hints at a carefully planned urban evolution, potentially altering the dynamics of the airport's placement within the city. The industrial sector of Port Gellhorn provides a gritty backdrop, with the iconic United States prison maintaining its imposing presence. The inclusion of the pawn shop, prominently featured in the trailer, underscores the developer's commitment to integrating real-world elements seamlessly into the game environment. Venturing southward, areas like Second Fina and Belleville remain enigmatic, their constant relocation adding an element of unpredictability to their final positioning on the map. Ambrosia La Pearl, steeped in mystery, teases players with its undisclosed location, heightening the sense of intrigue surrounding these diverse neighborhoods. Our exploration now takes us into the heart of Vice City, where a substantial chunk of the urban landscape unfolds before us. While speculation abounds regarding the placement of red buildings and names, the gray structures, sourced from both the trailer and leaks, serve as tangible landmarks, anchoring our understanding of the evolving cityscape. Vice Beach emerges as a vibrant district, adorned with numerous hotels that were meticulously analyzed in previous videos, providing a tangible link between the virtual world and its real-life counterparts. Washington Beach, with its diverse skyline, beckons players with promises of new adventures, enhanced by the improved streets of Stockyard, Little Haiti, Rock Ridge, and Crosstown, as showcased in the trailer footage. Descending further into the enchanting realm of Grass Rivers, we come across the enigmatic district of Hamlet, speculated to mirror the charm of Homestead, yet the persistent red designation leaves us tantalizingly in the dark about its precise location. This region reveals fascinating land Marks, including a power plant nestled at Turkey Point and a sewage treatment plant, painting a vivid picture of the industrial landscape as gleaned from leaked footage. The presence of Grass Rivers itself, along with the mysterious Gator Keys and the alluring sundown, adds an extra layer of intrigue to this particular segment of the expansive GTA 6 map. 
A moment of appreciation is certainly due to the dedicated individuals steering the mapping project, whose commendable efforts grant fans an evolving and detailed peek into the GTA 6 world. Their commitment to accuracy and meticulous attention to detail foreshadow an immersive gaming experience, setting the stage for the excitement surrounding the official release. Now, let's delve into a truly mind-blowing comparison that has set the gaming community abuzz. Our gaze shifts to the juxtaposition of Los Santos from GTA 5, Liberty City from the iconic GTA 4, and the highly anticipated anticipated Vice Beach from GTA 6. The comparison not only highlights the need for potential adjustments in Vice Beach's size, but also emphasizes the extraordinary density and detail that players can expect. Acknowledging the observed need for a slight enlargement of Vice Beach, the visual impact remains nothing short of extraordinary. The comparison underscores the incredible density that GTA 6 promises, reminiscent of the lively streets and vibrant atmosphere experienced in the streets of GTA 4's Liberty City. Speculation regarding the buildings in Vice Beach, as shown showcased in the mapping project, heightens the anticipation, with the close proximity of structures promising an unparalleled level of immersion and detail, evoking nostalgia from the beloved GTA 4 era. This meticulously crafted map stands as a colossal playground, harking back to the bustling streets that made GTA 4 a standout title. The intricate detailing, the tightly packed urban landscape, and the anticipated density all point towards an experience that pays homage to the franchise's esteemed roots while pushing boundaries in the expansive open-world genre. The enormity of GTA 6, both in size and detail, heralds a new era in gaming. The astonishing comparison, showcasing the potential density and intricacy of Vice City, is nothing short of a revelation. A special acknowledgement goes out to the mapping community for their outstanding work in envisioning an entire Vice City characterized by a multitude of buildings. The level of density and detail promised is unprecedented and is set to redefine the benchmarks of open-world gaming. The concept of an expansive map allegedly featuring three cities elevates the excitement, presenting players with a gaming landscape of unparalleled proportions. Now, delving into the realm of open-world activities revealed in the 2022 leaks, the thrill intensifies. With four confirmed activities and the potential inclusion of dice, GTA 6 promises a diverse range of immersive experiences. Golf, fishing, and races are confirmed elements that contribute to the dynamic and engaging environment that Rockstar Games is crafting. A particularly intriguing moment unfolds in the trailer, as Jason, visibly nervous, speeds away from a robbery scene, with Luke clutching the ill-gotten cash. In the distance, the iconic Top Golf in Doro makes a cameo, a real-world entertainment destination located in Doro, Florida. The climate-controlled hitting bays, HDTVs, and sports bar elements create an enticing backdrop for players to explore. This real-world integration adds a layer of authenticity, bridging the gap between the virtual and real worlds. Fishing, poised to be a serene yet potentially rewarding pastime, is expected to be available from various locations in the vast ocean. Races, an integral and adrenaline-pumping element of the GTA series, are set to deliver high-octane excitement that fans have come to expect from the franchise. Furthermore, a detailed list from the GTA 6 document unravels every location visible in the leaks on the GTA 6 map. This includes not only new and thrilling destinations, but also the return of iconic locations from the beloved GTA Vice City. The inclusion of familiar locales adds a nostalgic touch, creating a seamless connection between the past and the present within the expansive world of GTA 6. Now let's embark on a comprehensive exploration of some of the familiar locales, making a triumphant return in GTA 6, as unveiled by the mapping project. These recognizable names from the GTA Vice City era evoke a sense of nostalgia, rekindling memories of past gaming experiences. Leaf Links, Malibu Club, Washington Beach, Ocean Beach, Ocean Drive, Ocean View, and Little Haiti are just a few examples of the beloved spots that players will once again encounter in the immersive world of GTA 6. It's a poignant journey back in time as we rediscover these iconic locations, now reimagined and seamlessly integrated into the highly anticipated GTA 6 map. Venturing further into the extensive list of locations, our focus remains on the map, unveiling an array of intriguing places that contribute to the game's richness. Among these, the Jack of Seas nightclub takes center stage, having made appearances in both the official trailer and the leaks from 2022. While a detailed reading of every location is beyond the scope, feel free to pause the video and explore these fascinating spots at your own pace. From quaint small stores to the distinctive stone sculpture gracing Vice Beach, each location adds layers of detail and authenticity to the sprawling game world. 
some of which have been exclusively revealed through leaks. Shifting our gaze to Port Gilhorn, a diverse array of captivating places awaits discovery. The car wash, soccer field, a bustling basketball court, the Ambrosia Farm, and the intriguing King Neptune statue are just a glimpse into the eclectic offerings in this part of the map. Sailing through the Keys, exploring underwater ruins, investigating an underwater research facility, and contemplating the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle add an extra layer of fascination to the GTA 6 experience. With the unveiling of the mapping project, the sheer depth and meticulous attention to detail that Rockstar is investing in the GTA 6 map become even more awe-inspiring. We're delving into the character creation aspect of Grand Theft Auto 6 and exploring how in-game NPCs will be generated. We'll take a look at a recent patent filed by T2 Interactive, the parent company of Rockstar Games, which sheds light on the character creation process within the world of GTA 6. The patent reveals details about a new system developed by Rockstar Games, designed to streamline character creation and leverage the capabilities of current generation consoles more effectively. As game worlds grow in size and complexity, filling them with diverse and compelling characters and environments becomes increasingly challenging. Artists are tasked with creating every individual in-game object, from characters to buildings and interiors. As these worlds expand, the computational and design efforts required also increase. However, Rockstar Games has once again demonstrated innovation by developing a system that optimizes the rendering of 3D objects, ensuring efficiency without compromising on detail. This system addresses the challenges posed by the ever-expanding scope of game worlds. The patent we're examining in this video is titled System and Method for Game Object and Environment Generation. This video takes a deep dive into the generation of building interiors and characters within the expansive world being crafted by Rockstar Games. The patent starts off by providing an overview of how objects function within 3D spaces, as explained by Rockstar. Objects used in 3D graphics, often called assets, are a combination of geometry data, for example, the 3D model, and data for textures associated with the geometry data. An asset may be formed of one object, or it may be a composite object made from a combination of objects. The objects that form a composite object may in different contexts be used as independent assets unrelated to the composite object, or they may always be used as a subset of a larger object. They've provided an intro to how 3D objects function in games, aiming to help us grasp the workings of their latest invention. Persons of skill in the art will recognize that many different sorts of assets, such as vehicles, can be made from collections of subcomponents. For example, one aspect of the game might require a room, say a dining room. That entire dining room could be considered one game asset, but it will likely be created from several other assets, such as a table, chairs, dishes, glasses, wallpaper, flooring, etc. The glasses and chairs are independent of the larger dining room asset. As another example, a virtual person in the game, such a background character in a scene, would also be an asset. A person asset might be made up of a number of interchangeable objects, such as legs, a torso, arms, a head, etc. Because the person is made up of interchangeable objects, a variety of different persona sets can be made by mixing and matching different constituent parts. But a body part like a torso might always be used as a subpart of a larger body object. Prior art systems generally include libraries of game assets. The systems and methods of the present disclosure add a metadata layer to these game asset systems and provide modified development and game architectures to take advantage of the new metadata layer. This metadata layer includes tags that are added to the object in order to provide useful descriptors. In a preferred embodiment, these descriptors are completely freeform and without context. This allows developers to specify information about objects as needed without having to be locked into a ridge pre-configured schema. Rockstar's new system introduces an additional metadata layer and utilizes tags for enhanced functionality. In the next section, they provide examples illustrating how this tagging system will operate. For instance, characters and virtual beings within the game world will be assigned tags like skinny, chubby, average, attractive, ugly, young, old, and so on. They explain that this tagging system won't just apply to the 3D models or textures alone, but to the entire object package, which includes the model and its associated textures. Essentially, every aspect of a particular character will be tagged. For example, skin textures for elderly characters will be tagged as old, while arms and torsos for heavier characters will be tagged as chubby. They also list other tag examples provided by Rockstar, such as sporty, hipster, emo, preppy, nerdy, luxury, basic, new, worn out, business, and formal. Moreover, each component can have its own tag, and there can even be collections of assets with tags. 
Furthermore, they explain that all these assets can be stored on servers for easy developer access via an Application Programming Interface API. Additionally, these assets can be stored in various formats like XML, limited text, binary encoding, relational databases, and others, depending on the developer's proficiency. The systems and methods of the present disclosure further advantageously use the metadata via a rule set layer that uses the metadata to increase the speed and efficiency of game rendering, world or scene creation, game script execution, and rendering fidelity. In particular, the rule set allows designers to add context to the tags and to control their use by setting rules for the asset usage and the asset's interaction with the game and other objects. These rules are unrestricted and can be used to provide a wide variety of different capabilities and restrictions for objects. Let's take a look at how these tags will be put into action. For instance, if a jacket object is created, a tag like additional top garment can be assigned to it. Then, during gameplay, certain rules might search for this specific tag to identify objects like jackets. Furthermore, in a cold setting, the character's health stat may decrease at a slower rate because the character stays warm with the additional top garment. Moreover, the additional top garment tag could enhance rendering efficiency. For instance, if a character wears a shirt underneath a jacket, the shirt occupies memory space. Since the shirt is mostly covered by the jacket, Rockstar plans to replace the full shirt with a smaller texture, only containing the visible parts under the jacket, thus conserving memory. The combination of tags and the rule set can also be used advantageously for procedural generation of game objects and environments. For example, a game scene could be created in a game script by calling assets based on tags, rather than calling the assets explicitly. For example, if the game scene called for virtual characters in a movie theater, the game designer could simply specify a need for predetermined X number of characters with casual dress. If the designer wanted a sci-fi movie playing at the theater, it might also call for a higher percentage than normal of characters tagged nerdy. The metadata rule set interface would interpret these general instructions at game runtime to randomly generate virtual characters fulfilling those needs. Additionally, this system offers increased efficiency. For instance, the entire character object doesn't need to be packaged before streaming to the GPU for processing. Instead, they can be generated directly on the GPU using existing model and texture assets. Of course, Rockstar aims to utilize as many preloaded GPU textures as possible while maintaining a realistic variety in the scene. Moreover, this system allows them to control the number of preloaded textures used in a scene. For instance, more textures can be preloaded for complex scenes and fewer for simpler ones. The goal of this video is to provide an overview of the key aspects of this new system, so I won't delve into every example described in the patent. Turning to the details of the specified metadata, in a particularly advantageous embodiment, the following metadata is included for each model and texture, IDs, property tags, match tags, randomization restrictions, expression data, and optimization data. While this selection of metadata has been found advantageous, different groupings and subsets of these tags can be mixed and matched as needed to accomplish particular design goals without departing from the spirit and advantages of the present disclosed inventions. The uses, embodiments, and benefits of each of these fields are described as follows. These elements constitute the metadata, and while I won't delve into each one individually, they essentially represent the various tagging methods Rockstar employs to organize models and textures. These tags facilitate accurate and efficient filtering and sorting of assets within the virtual world. I trust this video provided you with an understanding of the tagging system Rockstar has devised. I'm personally excited about the potential for greater NPC variety in this vast world. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below.